Good morning students. Today we will continue with the same unit personality development. And what was the name of the lesson yesterday which we have learned? Attitude is altitude. Today we will continue the same lesson. Do you remember what we have learned in the previous class? Yes, we have learned about Nikvejik who was born without no hands and legs. And what was his age? His age was 26 years old. And what all the games he used to play? He used to play football, golf and he used to swim and surf. And also skateboarding. What was his mother? She was a nurse. And where did Nick's parents joined him? He joined him in a normal school. Means they didn't join him in a special school. And what were the attempts made by their parents to make Nick independent? Yes, his father put Nick in bathtub and encouraged him to swim at the age of 18 months. Ok students, today we will continue the lesson. Nick's father was a computer programmer and accountant and he taught his little son how to type with his toe at just 6 years old. His mom invented a special plastic device that meant he could hold a pen and pencil. What was Nick's father? His father was a computer programmer and accountant. He taught Nick how to type with his toe at the age of 6 years and his mother invented a special plastic device. Means uh, it helped him to hold a pen and pencil. Despite the risk of being bullied, his parents insisted Nick on attending mainstream school. It was the best decision they could have made for me, adds Nick, who later achieved a degree in financial planning and real estate. It was very hard, but it gave me independence. So, Nick's parents insisted Nick to attend mainstream schools because uh, the, he want, uh, they want his son to be independent and not to be uh, bullied by everyone. And Nick felt it was the best decision made for him by his parents. Later, Nick achieved financial planning and real estate degree and him it was hard but he gave it gave him independence nick who was teased and bullied had an electric wheelchair for mobility and a team of carriers to help him nick was teased and bullied by everyone and he had an electric wheelchair for his mobility means uh, for him to move, uh, he has an electric chair and also a team of carriers means some group of people who used to help him for his mobility. It was deeply depressed when I was 8 years old. He said, I went to my mom crying and told her I, wa I, I wanted to kill myself. At the age of 8 years, Nick was deeply depressed and he went to his mother and he said that he want to kill himself. I felt cold and bitter. I hated God for doing this to me and was terrified of what would happen when my parents weren't there to look after me. So Nick felt very sad and he used to hate God for giving him this terrified situation means uh, with ha without 
having hands and legs to survive was very difficult so he used to hate god but he uh, he was happy that his parents supported him and he used to think without his parents what his situation would be i could brush my own teeth with a wall mounted brush and wash my own hair with pump action soap but there was so much that was impossible for me he was he he could brush his teeth with a wall mounted brush and also he used to wash his hair himself with a pump action soap but there were many things which was impossible for him to do by himself at age 10 nick tried to drown himself in the bath but luckily the attempt was unsuccessful i felt there was no purpose when you lack purpose and strength it is hard to hold on he said but with the help of his religion friends and family nick managed to pull through to become an international symbol of triumph over adversity so at the age of 10 nick tried to kill himself means uh drown himself he tried to drown himself in the bath means he tried to kill himself but that attempt was unsuccessful and with the help of his religion friends and family he tried to manage himself and become an international symbol of triumph over adversity triumph means a uh, victory over adversity when i was 13 i read a newspaper article about a disabled man who managed to achieve great things and helped others said nick at the age of 13 nick read a newspaper article about a disabled man and who managed to achieve great things and help others he uh, means in that article uh, that person used to help others and also he achieved great things i realized why god had made us like this to give hope to others it was so inspirational to me that i decided to use my life to encourage other people and give them the courage that the article had given me so later after reading that article nick has realized that why god has made them like that means uh, god ha- nick feel that god had made them to give hope to others it was so inspirational for nick and he decided to use his life for encouraging others i decided to be thankful for what i do have not get angry about what i don't so he decided to thank for what he have but not get angry for what he don't have i looked at myself in the mirror and said you know what the world is right that i have no arms or legs but they'll never take away the beauty of my eyes i wanted to concentrate on something good that i had so nick by seeing in the mirror he was say, he was saying that uh, the world was right that he don't have arms and legs but the beauty of his eyes can't stop him so he wanted to concentrate on the good part which he have in hi- in him the challenges in our lives are there to strengthen our convictions they are not there to run us over said nick in 1990 nick won the australian young citizen of the year award for his bravery and perseverance so nick say that challenges in our life are to strengthen us but not to make us weak 
So in the year 1990, Nick won the Australian Young Citizen of the Year award for his bravery and perseverance. And once I was in a car, and a girl at traffic lights was looking at me interestingly. She could only see my head, so I decided to a 360 degree spin in the car. in the car seat to freak her out her face was like whoa what is going on she sped she sped off really quickly so near the traffic lights one girl was looking uh, looking at nick interestingly so uh, that girl can't see nick completely means she can see his face only so what nick has done nick has done a 360 degree spin in his car seat so that woman was a uh, shocked and she moved quickly nick began traveling the world and in 2008 he went to hawaii and met surfing master bethany hamilton who had her arm bitten off by a shark when she was 12 so later uh, nick began traveling in the year 2008 he went to hawaii and met a uh, surfing master bethany hamilton and her arm was bitten by shark when she was 12 years she was amazing said nick she taught me how to surf and i was terrified at first but once i got up there it left it felt absolutely fantastic and i caught some waves pretty well nick quickly learned how to do the 360 degree spin on his board a feat that got him on the cover of surfer magazine within 48 hours no one has ever done that in the history of surfing he said but i have a very low center of gravity so i i have got pretty good balance so nick say that bethany hamilton was amazing and she taught him how to surf it was first it was terrified for him but later it was fantastic so nick learned quickly how to a uh, do 360 spin on his uh, board a feat that got him on the cover means a small foot with which he was uh, doing all the things it ma- that foot made him to that foot has got him on the cover of surfer magazine within 48 hours no one has ever done this in the history of surfing so uh, no one has break that record which nick has done but i have a very low center of gravity so i have got pretty good balance as nick has very low center of gravity it made him to get a good balance he has visited different countries all over the world the football fan is now a motivational speaker and has traveled over 24 countries speaking to groups of up to 110000 people so nick visited different countries all over the world he was a football fan but now he is a motivational speaker and he has traveled over 24 countries speaking to 110000 people he moved to los angeles 2 years ago in 2007 and plans to continue to travel the world if i fail i try again and again and again if you fail are you going to try again the human spirit can handle much worse 
than we realize. It matters how you are going to finish. Are you going to finish strong? said Nick. So Nick say that if he fail, he will be keep on trying. And he is asking us whether if we are failed, are we going to try again? The human spirit can handle much worse than we realize. It matters how we are going to finish. So our spirit can handle much worse things. But it is important that how we finish, how we are going to finish. So are we, we have to decide that are we going to finish in a strong way or with a disappointed way is the thing we have to think. I tell people to keep on getting up when they fall and to always love themselves. He said. So Nick say that he say to people to people that uh, we have to get up when we fall and to always love ourselves. If I can encourage just one person, then my job in this life is done. Nick feels that if he can encourage one person, also his job in his life is done. Body structure and looks are inborn. We do not choose or make our body. We need not take pride or feel ashamed of our looks or body structure. Pride or shame comes from our behavior. We respect people and people respect us for our skills, behavior and quality. So, we shouldn't be ashamed of what we have because we get the respect from others is for our skills and behavior and qualities but not with the ap appearance or with the looks. So, we have to keep our skills and behavior and qualities good but not we shouldn't think about the appearance what we have. The hard words from this lesson are programmer, accountant, financial, unsuccessful, international, inspirational, encourage, concentrate, Preserve, Bethany Hamilton, Absolute, Motivational. I want you to write these words in your notebooks and learn the spellings. And the home assignment for you is, you have to write the hard words in your notes which I have given you and you have to find the meanings for them. And you have to write the hard words and the meanings in your notes. Okay children, we will continue the remaining part of the lesson in our next class. Thank you. Have a good day.